Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> in today's video, this one is like a very different video for me, but the internet made me do it. So, <laughs> so the other day I was scrolling down Twitter and saw this tweet, and it was by at CX Makeups. She posted these two pictures of like her eyes all primed up ready for eyeshadow, and she put Max Lip Cover Up £16 or Nip and Fab Concealer £8. Found my new dupe. So, you know what I thought? Let's put it to the test. So yeah, as soon as I saw that tweet, I was like, okay, let's actually see if like this is truly a good dupe. I've never bought Nip and Fab products before, so this is my first time. I've not even really heard a lot about the Nip and Fab makeup brand. The only thing that I've ever heard about Nip and Fab is when Kylie Jenner did like that whole sponsored thing for them all. But since then, I've like heard nothing about them. But the reason I saw this tweet was because somebody quote tweeted it and put, what the actual fuck? This has turned me on. Low-key saying, like, pictures of that, like, honestly do turn me on. <laughs> so immediately after seeing the tweets, I was like, let's do this. Let's see, like, if this is a good shoot. We'll do a video on it. So I went to Superdrug. I just, I actually picked up more concealers, but you know. Oh my god, side note, but I'm not sponsored by Superdrug. But if you go in Superdrug right now, I think it's three for the price of two on all makeup. So these two, like, concealers were four pounds. So I put those on the counter first and then put that one on last. And my order total was eight seventy five. when this concealer alone is eight ninety five. I think. So if you think about it, I kind of got like this for free. But if you're curious, I also bought the Revolution White Concealer just because like Halloween's coming up, a white concealer is needed. And I also bought the Barry M All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer. I watched the video of Jeffree Star and Mitchell and he used the Barry M Concealer on Jeffree's eyes to prime them. So I was like, you know what, I'll buy this as well, give it a go. You know, I love Barry M so I was like, we'll just see where this goes. However, for today's video, I'm only going to be using the Nip and Fab Concealer as well as the MAC Select Cover Up. My MAC Concealer is in the shade NW15. Okay, so the lightest shade in my super drug, at least, was in the shade 05. I don't know if it does go any lighter. I think 05 is the, like, lightest one. They kind of look the same shade. However, I do think the MAC one will be a little bit lighter. Okay. I want to see what the applicator is like. Oh, it's those ones with like a little brush at the end. Oh, this one kind of reminds me of like the LA Girl concealers. Like that has a little brush on the end like this. I don't know how I feel about that. So yeah, for today's video, I'm going to be doing my eyes. So I'm going to be priming both eyes and doing an eyeshadow look on both of them. They're both going to be the same eyeshadow looks. Don't worry. Just in case I forget to mention it or you guys are a little bit confused what I'm using, I will put on the screen what I am using. Okay, so now that that's aside, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll get started on the eyes today. Okay guys, so geez, this is the most zoomed in and you've probably been to my face ever. So first I really want to put to the test the Nip and Fab Concealer. So I'm actually going to do this on my left eye, what you guys are seeing right now. What I'm going to do is, because the tip obviously is a brush end, I'm just going to pump out some product onto the back of my hands. And then using this Paradise Makeup AQ816 brush, which is like a small foundation brush, I'm going to be using this on both sides of my eyes to prime them. It just helps me carve out the brows as well as prime the lid. So yeah, let's do it. So I don't know how much of this I need. I'm just going to put like a little bit on the back of my hand and just hope that like it spreads out. Out well. Okay, so now let's prime the lid. Okay, so on this side now I'm going to be using the Max Select Cover Up Concealer to prime my lid. I forgot like how watery and streaky this concealer can get. Like, jeez. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the patting motion on the lid with this concealer. Like, is it just me that has this issue with like the Max Select cover up? Like, it's way too streaky at first, and then it dries down like super matte quickly. Thank you. 
that case, now I'm going to use the patting motion with the brush just to blend out my concealer that is on the lid, just so it's all even and ready for eyeshadow application. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, I don't know depending on the lighting situation right now, but I am noticing that this concealer is a little bit on the orange side. It is very warm toned, that's like probably an issue of mine. It is very close to my actual like skin tone, which is great. However, sometimes when I am priming the lid, I do like to go a few shades lighter, just so it does give a brighter base just to put the shadows down onto. Not pure white because I've been there and done that and it is way too intense, 100% don't recommend. You're probably going to see a lot of wrinklage because I'm going to have my eyes open for a long time talking before I set the lids with eyeshadow, so sorry about the light creasing. Also another thing, but this concealer is very like drying quickly. I didn't actually have to use that much, I've still got a little bit on the back of my hands. However, it does dry down pretty quickly, as you can see it's like kind of already wrinkling on my crease, which is fine because you can keep blending it out, like it is very movable, it doesn't fully dry down. I will say that this concealer is a lot more easier to like blend out, because it stays tackier longer, so it gives you that like room to move it around a little bit more. Okay, so since the concealer is laid down, on my lid, now it's time to do eyeshadows on top of, and that way we can see how it performs. Okay, so for my eyeshadow look today, I'm doing something like pretty simple, but also super colourful and vibrant. Okay, so for my first colour, I'm going to be taking a deep plum purple shade from the Morphe Dare to Create 39A eyeshadow palette, and I'm just going to be using a 17 eyeshadow brush, this is like a very small tapered brush, and I'm just going to be packing this colour down heavy in my crease. Okay, so that like looks scary, <laughs> but I promise you it will blend out fine and look perfect. Okay, so next we have another 17 eyeshadow brush. This one is tapered as well, but a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Love Letter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. I'm going to put the shade in my crease and hugging it very close to that plum dark purple shade that we've just laid down. Okay, police sirens. Okay, so now using the Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush, I'm going to be using this yellow shade from the Bleach London Eyeshadow Palette, and it is in the shade PH3MA. And I'm just going to be buffing this on the outer corner of the shades that we've just laid down. Why does it look darker on this side compared to that side? I mean, I'll put some more eyeshadow in the crease, but like, I put in the same amount, so... Hmm, I feel like the colours on this side aren't like, booming as much? I don't know, maybe I'll see at the end, when everything comes together. I mean, I didn't mean this eyeshadow look to look like a bruise, but... Here we are! Okay, so now on the lid I'm going to be using this light blue shimmer shade from the Morphe 35B eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to be using my ring finger to apply this to the centre of the lid. Okay, so next I'm just going to apply this light blue non-branded pigment on my eyes. Just to add a little bit more shimmer on that eyeshadow that we've just laid down. Okay, so now I'm just using the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Cocky. And I'm going to be using this as a liquid liner today. Sorry if this part is filmed bad, I will be moving around a lot and probably get you guys the wrong angles, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going back with that plum shade from the Morphe Dare to Create palette with the 17 eyeshadow brush. Just kind of blending the outer edge of that liner that we've just put down. I ideally didn't want it to be this thick actually, I liked it to angle inwards, but here we are. On my lower lash line I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Venus 2 eyeshadow and using the shade Filter with a Morphe M151 eyeshadow brush to apply this with. And then next I'm just using the shade OTB 4MA, which is a Bleach London single eyeshadow. And in my lower lash line, I'm going to be applying this Milk Makeup Shadow Liner in the shade Hustler. Okay, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply the Max Factor False Lash Epic to my top lashes, and then the Crayola Beauty Black Mascara to my bottom lashes. 
Okay guys, so now I'm going to apply my Tatty Lashes in the style TL4 and using my Duo Lash Glue to apply this with. And this guys is the finished look. Now it's time to compare the Nip and Fab Concealer to the Max Select Cover Up Concealer to see which one is more ideal to prime the lid with. So. <laughs> Let's go through pros and cons of both. Also, hopefully you guys would have seen these points that I'm about to make through the footage that I filmed doing my eye makeup. Again, I do apologize if some scenes were chopped. If I ever do something like this again, I promise I will try better at getting it to stay focused on a certain part of my face instead of like blurring out and then starting to focus on my ears instead. <laughs> It's so annoying. So first I'm going to talk about the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. Now, I have... <laughs> I have something to own up to. I hate this. I, I, I generally hate this. I've done a lot of tutorials using the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. It's like an eye priming base for my eyeshadows. And like, I've always found it streaky. Like it's just a little bit too watery. Even if you're doing it as concealer on the face or on the eyes or anywhere on the face, it's just, it always looks a little bit streaky. As you guys may have seen from like the footage, I just don't enjoy using this as an eye primer anymore. Actually for a fact, I use the Revolution Concealer now. And I think somebody said that Jeffree Star uses that now as well. So, I mean, Jeffree Star has taste as, as do I. And he's right. Like I've used that Revolution Concealer as my eye priming base recently. It gives a lot more more better coverage. I like the way it dries down. I like the shade ranges. As for the MAC one, it just, it dries down a little bit tacky and weird. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm judging by my eye makeup, but on the side that I use the MAC concealer, it, like, the colours of my eyeshadow look so watered down. I struggled a little bit doing my eyeshadow today. I generally had to put more on, because at first I used the same amount as I did on the side where the Nip and Fab was applied, but on the Nip and Fab side, the colours are so pigmented, I got more out of my eyeshadows. But doing the same technique and colours on the MAC side, I struggled. Even now, I don't think it looks identical. I feel like this one looks kind of watered down and then this side looks a lot more pigmented. But I really tried, like I went back in with more, even after doing the eyes, I went back with more just to make sure it looked even. And don't get me wrong, I don't hate this concealer. It's just that like, I really don't think that we should be hyping this up anymore to prime the lids. If it works for you, then good. But if it doesn't, then like, don't fake it and make out it's good because it's really not the best. As for the Nip and Fab one, I really enjoyed actually using it today. I think the only bad thing about it was that maybe it dried down a little bit too quicker. I wish it did kind of give you room to, you know, move the concealer about and stuff instead of like drying down like so quick. The formula is like very mattifying, but at the same time it is very creamy when you are applying it. I really like the finish of the product as well. I think the only con that I really have for this concealer is that like the shade ranges are very orangey. When I put this on my eyes, it's very warm toned. It matched my skin tone perfectly. I know that there's definitely people out there who are lighter than me, so like, and like even though this like matches my skin tone, it's more on the warm end, so it looks kind of orangey and not as cool toned as my own skin. I understand that there might be a new brand to doing all of this kind of, you know, certain products, so I know that they're more well known for being like skincare. However, if they do want to continue doing this and being successful at it, I do recommend them to bring out more shades. But overall, from looking at my eyes, it's gave me a good finish. It didn't crease up too much compared to the MAC one, in my opinion, just because the MAC one is more tacky. And with this one anyways, if it does crease up, then you literally can fix it easily. Even though it is very mattifying compared to the MAC one, because I feel like that's too creamy and movable too movable like but no I generally do like this and I do think if anything it's actually a better do than the MAC one but even then like a makeup brand can expand its shade range so that is like not a huge con if that makes sense so yeah that is today's video please sound off down below what your opinions are on the MAC select cover up concealer as well as the nip and fab concealer which products you thought performed better as well as what you prefer out of the two if you have used them both sound off down below let a hoe know oh my god I'm a poet <laughs> William Shakespeare found shaking so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit like and comment down below so I know that you liked it. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe down below and be sure to hit that bell icon so you never miss on any makeup uploads in the future. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>